สวัสดีค่ะ Hi everyone here is ครูสมุกนะคะ and welcome to Ultimate Guide to Thai Reading Course นะคะ Now you are with me in the introduction to Thai script Yay it sounds very exciting because in this video นะคะ I will be introducing you a few main topics นะ that are from the Ultimate Guide to Thai Reading นะ and these topic these main topic นะคะ will be the topic that you need To learn in order to master reading and writing, it will help you get prepared, get ready for your first lesson with the ultimate guide to Thai reading. Let's start our first lesson: introduction to Thai script. Here is a component of a syllable. So when I talk about a syllable, is also like only one sound that I pronounce. Nha, one word could um consist of one syllable or more than one syllables. But here you go. A syllable consists of an initial consonant and vowel. So these two are the main component of a syllable: initial consonant and a vowel. But if you take a look at these examples, so these all are part of a syllable. You have first of all, this one is initial consonant. This one is a vowel. Sometimes, nakha a syllable could also have Final consonant and tone mark as addition, but you have to have these two at least, which are initial consonant and vowel. So the first thing that you have to learn in order to read Thai is Thai consonants, or in Thai we say, p a y a n c h a n a Thai, n a Thai consonants. In Thai alphabet, there are forty-four consonants, n a p a y a n c h a n a Thai, n a So as you can see, these forty-four. Consonants. However, there are a few that are obsolete, which are this one and this one. Ah, these two are obsolete. So, what does it mean by obsolete? That we don't use them anymore. n a the one that circle in green, but the rest we still use them. Some of them might be more commonly used. Some of them might be less commonly used, but they still exit in Thai. Alphabet except these two, ah, obsolete. Nah, ha. So forty-four consonants in Thai alphabet. In order to call each consonant name, ah, to call each consonant name. Well, in English, this one is pronounced like a, right? And then b, and then c, and then d. So you can see these three are like e sound, like b, c. D with e sound. However, in Thai language, ka a consonant is a sound instead of e sound. Nah. So as you can see, this one, ka this letter or this consonant is a consonant. We call it g a g a i g a g a i Ah, because look at this. G come from the initial sound. Ah, the initial consonant sound. Nah, ha, it's g sound, g sound plus o. So we pronounce it like g. And the word g a i is example word. Ah, so let's take a look up here. To call each consonant name, you have to have initial consonant sound plus o sound like this one. Pronounce g. Plus specific example word, ah, so that's why we call it g a g a i and g a i means chicken, g a i ah, and g a i also must be written with the g a g a i this consonant as well. See, g a g a i นะคะ Ah, let's take a look a little bit. You might also have a question. Well, is it always g a g a i Can I also say maybe g a g i n like gin to eat? Can I say g a g i n as well? No, you cannot because the example words of each consonant are very specific. Ah, for example, as you can see, see this one is also g a g a i g a g a i with the chicken, with the g a i Nah, and you can see this example look very very old. Yes, it's very old because it's you know from my daddy and my mommy's like book. So. This set of the example words, nah, have been passed to 
generation to generation. So we still use the same. So go kai never change to other go sound like go kin or go kat always go kai. Then you might also ask me, hey Chris Mook, can I just call this one go? Well, without kai, can I just like don't say an example? Well, of course you can. However, it's not optimal. Why? Because some of the consonants share the same initial sound. Share the same initial sound. Ah. Let's see this example. These three are from right here. See this three. Ah, I will zoom into this one. Boop. So all of them, ka, all of them has. Initial consonant sound. Initial consonant sound. All of them has the same s initial consonant sound. That's why all of them call saw, saw, and saw. But when you say ah, oh, it's saw, you don't know which saw it is because there are three different saw right now. So that's why you have to say a full name with example word. For example, this one ka saw sua, saw sua. The word sua mean tiger. Ah, saw sua. The word sua mean tiger. Next one ka this one. This one is saw rusi. Rusi means hermit. Like a you know like a Buddhist. Priest that live in the jungle, and then saw sala sala means pavilion. Ah, pavilion, sala. So all of them, นะคะ has saw like s initial consonant sound. Therefore, it's saw saw saw, but different letter, different consonant. Saw s u a saw r s i and saw sala. That's why you always have to remember an example word of the name of the consonant name. You know, I give you one trick. If you see something like this come out, thut and thut, of course, it's s sound. Nah, clear? If clear, let's continue. Ka. So if you take a look at right here, both of them has s sound. See, s sound, and then you have. This one, ka. This one is a vowel ah sound, ah sound, as a vowel. Ah, so two different word, na. Start from this one, ka. How would you read this one? This one with s sound, so s plus ah sound. So this one is pronounced sa, and this one as well. Sa, so you can see, right? These two are pronounced the same as they both has the same initial consonant sound and the same vowel. However, the meanings are different. Just remember, some word could pronounce the same, but could be written in a different way, like this, and different meaning. Okay, so this is just an example. Of the initial consonant, both of them is saw with s sound. When put together with sort of a or a vowel, it's pronounced exactly the same, even though it's a different initial consonant. But these consonants share the same initial sound. That's why, นะคะ even though there are forty four Thai consonants in the Thai alphabet, there are only twenty two initial consonant sounds. Well, it is because they share the same initial sound, like this one. Actually, this one as well. See the same color, and this one same. Nah, so this yellow is a sound. This one in red is k sound, as an example. But you might also ask me, what about the black one? The black ones like this one. It's a unique sound. For example, this one has k sound, and it's a very unique sound in which. This consonant doesn't share the same initial sound like other, so it's unique. This one also unique, but this one also unique, but nah, 
่า unique นะคะ alright so this is an example show you that there are only 21 initial consonant sounds out of the 44 Thai consonants in Thai alphabet it is because some Thai consonants share the same initial consonant sound the third thing that you have to learn นะคะ in the part of Thai consonants is cluster as you can see cluster are a syllable that has an initial consonant combined with another consonant Therefore, a cluster syllable is pronounced with two initial consonant sounds together. For example, this one, ka. Ah, see? Two initial consonants. So you have initial consonant, which is this one. Bobla. And the second one, this one, is a cluster consonant. And you pronounce these two consonants together. So this one is pronounced blah, blah. See, I don't even like separate the sound like la, but I combined these two together. So I pronounce it blah, blah, which means fish. Or another example, this one, ka. Popan as initial consonant and rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Let's take a look a little bit more about vowel. Here you go, a position of vowel. As I already mentioned a little bit before, it could be behind, see? This is, the black one is the initial consonant, and the yellow one is the vowel. Ah, see, this one is located behind the initial consonant. This one, the vowel, is in front of the initial consonant. This one is above. This one is below. And this one is around. Ah, so five different positions of vowels, but has to stick with the initial consonant. Ah. Next one, Kat. Short and long vowels. Nah. So, in Thai language, nah, as I told you, there are 33 vowel sounds in which four of them are not really commonly used, so only 28 that I will focus more. Nah. And in the 28, nah, it's separated into two groups, which are the simple vowel and complex vowel. For the simple vowel, it's a vowel with one sound. Why the complex vowel with two sounds together? For the simple vowel, it has two different sounds, which are short sound and long sound. Short sound vowel and long sound vowel. For example, this kind. So this one you already know, na go gai, right? G sound as the consonant. But this one, sara a as vowel. So this one is a sound. Together, a, 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 a sound, which is short sound. So that's why this word is pronounced ka, ka, short sound. Next one, ka, this one, is also a vowel, but this one is a sound. So pronounced exactly like a, but with long sound. So that's why this word is pronounced ka with long sound. So this one, ka, short sound, ka, long sound. So learning about cons, um, how to say, so learning about the vowel sound is not enough. You also have to remember whether this um, vowel is short or long sound. Because if you say ka, ka, well, the word ka doesn't have any meaning, but if you say ka, long sound, it means a crow, or like a bird, a crow bird. See? So, you know, pronouncing short and long vowel sound, it's also very important. And now come to the last part of vowel. First thing, ka, look, as you can see, help me define what is this one. This one is what? Initial consonant. Great. Where is a vowel? Guess what? Vowel. This one is a vowel. This is a vowel a sound. Uh -huh. This is a consonant called g sound. What about this one? What is this one? This one is ending consonant sound or final consonant with this one we call it ngo ngu so ng sound and this one is tone mark we will not touch upon the topic of tone mark yet but let's take a look here even though this one we call sara a or vavo a is in the front a you don't really pronounce this word ng ng like e come first and then G and then you don't really read from left to right. Yes, you do, but when you want to pronounce a syllable, a syllable is pronounced starting from the initial consonant. So initial consonant sound come first, and then vowel, and then ending consonant sound. Ah, see? So initial consonant sound come first. Uh, initial consonant sound come first. And then vowel sound. And then consonant sound. Oops. Ending consonant sound. 
or final consonant sound. And then could be followed by tone mark later. So that's why this word, huh? this word we pronounce geng. Geng. Start from g sound, which is the initial consonant sound. Even though so that it is in font, but you always pronounce from the initial consonant sound. So geng. Make sense? All right? That's it for the vowels. Let's continue a little bit to the third topic that you will be learning from this course, which is the life and death syllable. The concept of life and death syllable. So you're like, what is that? Well, in English, you don't really have this kind of concept, but in Thai, we have this concept. And it's also very important because it's determined tones. Ah, I will not teach you the whole thing here. Just want to introduce you, give you an overview of this topic now nah? so look the concept of life and death syllable the life syllable is like you know we call it sonorant sound or sound go on it can go as long as your breath goes but the death syllable is stop sound in which sound stops <laughs> easy right for example this is an example of sonorant or life syllable because this word is pronounced this one is not sound so can see the sound go through my nozzle like sonorant nozzle right go and you can hum it you can go as long as you want like can right However, this one can end with dotted. So because of the d sound, it's a stop sound. You have to make it stop like gat, gat. Stop already. So that's why this one is dead syllable. Ah, so these are the differences between live syllable sound go on and dead syllable sound stops. Okay. So there are a few things that determine the live and dead syllable. There are two things. First one, ka, as I just show you from this one, is ending consonant. See? Ending consonant. Ah. And also, vowel sound. Because the vowel sound has short sound and long sound, as I mentioned already be um, before, right? Nah. So you will learn, you know, first thing, ending consonant from the first topic which is consonant and you will also learn the vowel sound from the vowel topic so by then you will understand how to differentiate the live and dead syllable now let's skip it quickly ah so for ending consonant as you know part of things that define the live and dead syllable in the course you will be later on learn learning about ending consonant there are only eight ending consonant sounds. Only eight ending consonant sounds. Because many consonants has the same or share the same ending consonant sounds. Nah, you will learn about these eight ending consonant sounds in the course. Nah, nah. But as you can see, nah, some consonants have different initial and final sounds. Well, what I'm trying to say is, some consonants, nah, the initial, initial sound and final or ending sound might be different. Like this one. This one, as you already learned, this is s sound, right? So you have this one as s. But so you will pronounce this word sa. Sa, but when it's become ending consonant, it's not s anymore. This is initial consonant with s sounds, but with ending consonant, it's turned to be d sound. So this word is not pronounced sa s, but sad end with d sound. So I mean, no worries. I just want to let you know that 
some other consonants might have different initial sound and final sound for the consonant like this example so but no worries you will manage this in the course na ka. once you learn the ending consonant sound you will be able to differentiate na, between life and death syllable and because of life and death syllable determine tone it's very important na, to learn no? so you will be learning this life and death syllable as a third topic na, that you will be learning as well main topic no let's continue ha ah after you learn consonant after you learn vowel after you learn live and death syllable now it's time for you to learn thai tones ah as you know now thai language is a tonal language in which we have five different tones now five different tones which are flat tone uh, low tone uh, Falling tone, ah, falling, see? High tone, huh? And rising tone, huh? So you have five different tones. Na, 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 and na. A word, the same word with different tone has different meaning. I will show you in the next slide. Ah, look. Different tone, different meaning. Even though these two words share, like mean, has the same initial consonant, m sound, and has the same vowel, a uh, sound. So this one is pronounced ma flat tone, while this one is pronounced ma or high tone. As you can see, now this one is ma, this one is ma. Well. Both of them has the same, you see, initial consonant sound and vowel, but different meaning because it's different tone. Ma means to come, while ma means horse. See? So that's why learning about tone and tone rules will help your pronunciation and help your conversational skill. You might ask like, hey, so what determine tones? Well, there are four things that determine tones. First thing is class of consonant that you will be learning from the first topic consonant. In Thai language, there are three different class of consonants. I will explain to you later. Nah? So these classes of consonant determine tone as well as vowel because you will be learning about vowel. Remember I mentioned about vowel, short and long vowel life and death ending or life and death syllable as i mentioned before and tone marks as well now you will be learning everything together from each topic and put them together in order to figure out tones now so the tone is actually ultimate things to learn for read and write thai not so as i mentioned here classes of initial consonant there are 44 Thai consonants that I have already introduced you. And all of them are classified into three classes. Middle class consonant, high class consonant, and low class consonant. Three classes. As you can see, the green one is middle class consonant. The um, pink one is high class consonant and the um what's it called the green well the black one is low class consonant however as you can see there are a lot of consonant in black which are in the low class consonant that's why i separated the low class consonant into two part so you have part 1 and part two to learn now in the course you will learn first one middle class consonant then you will learn high class consonant then you will learn low class consonant one and low class consonant two no but again there are three classes of consonant high middle and low and these three classes of thai consonant matter for 
tone roofs, no? That's why you have to learn it. So many of you might be also afraid, like, oh my god, Thai tones are complicated, and I'm so like scared and afraid of learning it. No worries. I'm here to help you. I have figured out like a tone, like this one, like a tone map, like a figure out a tool for you. Ah, a tool for you to figure out tones much easier. I am I how to say simply find the tone rule into like a tree map like this. Nah, so you will have to learn a few things. For example, you will learn classes of consonant. You will learn live and that you know. The concept of live and that syllable, then you learn short and long vowel, then you will easily figure out tones. Nai ha, very easy. But you know, no worries. You will not understand everything right now. But you know, I want, I want just to how to say, I want just to um, show you an overview of everything that you will be learning. So let's conclude everything. Ha. Here are the topics to master reading Thai. The main topic, though, the main topic. First one. First of all, you learn about Thai consonant. Thai consonant with three classes. Remember, high, mid, and low. Uh -huh. Then you learn about ending consonant as well. Now, uh, whether it's hard or soft ending consonant. Then you learn about the live and death syllable that I already introduced you. Then you learn Thai vowels, whether it's short sound or long sound. Then you will be able to figure out tone rules with tone marks as well. Then you will learn cluster and also additional reading rules in order to read, you know, anything. Nah, I add maybe around five to six rules in the course nah, to make everything easier for you. Nah, all knowledge will be broken down nah, to make it easy for you step by step. And lastly, you will learn also additional Thai marks or Thai symbol. So here are the main nine topics that you will go through later in the Ultimate Guide to Thai Rating course. So that's it. For this lesson, I hope you see the overview of Thai script and what you have to learn. My goal for this lesson is to help you prepare and get ready to start your first lesson with the ultimate guide to Thai reading with more confidence. At least you see the whole picture and you will start step by step, the bunny step. But these small steps will lead to the ultimate goal which is to read and write Thai.